My name is Janiel. I'm 28 years old and I'm living with cystic fibrosis. I am married to my husband Peter and together we have a son named Fen. Recently I participated in a clinical trial for a potential anti-inflammatory medication. I was really excited to participate because not all studies for anti-inflammatories and usually they are for other medications like modulators, but the modulators only go so far. And every patient with cystic fibrosis has some level of underlying inflammation. And a lot of patients with cystic fibrosis don't qualify to be on a modulator. For me, clinical trials are a way to give back to the CF community. And the experience in the trial was awesome. Inflammation is your body's natural response to infection. Um, it's your body's way of signaling that something's not right. And for me personally, I feel a lot of inflammation within my lungs when I have an exacerbation, but also on a daily level. And that might feel like constriction, soreness within my lungs, a lot, a lot of coughing, mucus production. I think for a lot of people with CF, inflammation is something that they almost just ignore because it's something that you live with every single day. When I experience an exacerbation and it's time to start IV antibiotics, I have to discontinue a high dose of ibuprofen that I use as an anti-inflammatory medication. Usually my lung function will increase after a couple weeks of IV antibiotics, depending on which course we do, but sometimes you don't gain back the percentage that you lost, and there is anxiety and fear that comes with that wondering if you're going to gain that lung function back or if this is going to be your new normal. When I think about the possibility that my chronic inflammation can be controlled with a new treatment, I feel excited. There's not a lot of options for uh, treating inflammation and cystic fibrosis and a lot of the medications that are available do have side effects. It would be nice to continue to use an anti-inflammatory when it's time to be treated for an exacerbation. So it's really important that we continue to invest time and money in developing new anti-inflammatories so that we can have better quality of life and reach the milestones that we want to reach.